And part of that new plan, a law enforcement officer in every public school. Here in the Bay Area, some districts are digging into their own budgets right now to get officers in place as quickly as possible. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is live in Hernando County, where 10 new officers start tomorrow. Wendy? Yeah, many elementary schools in the county, including Brooksville Elementary, have never seen a school resource officer, but that's all about to change. Starting tomorrow, all 23 schools in the county will have an officer on duty. We have to get law enforcement presence at every uh, school in our state. Governor Scott says state money will fund putting more officers in school, but some counties aren't waiting for the funds, like Manatee County, who is putting 34 new officers in schools starting Monday. Sarasota County is also working on a plan to get officers in schools immediately. But Hillsborough, Polk, Pasco and Pinellas counties are waiting on funding from the state. In Pinellas County alone, there are about 80 schools that don't have any law enforcement presence at all. And coming up with 80 law enforcement officers in short order to staff those schools will be a tall order. On Tuesday, Hernando County Commissioners approved more than $880,000 in funding the Sheriff's Office to get those officers into schools immediately. We want to keep children safe after all. The county says the hiring of seven new county workers has been put on hold to make money available for the officers. We also dipped into our reserve account, so doing that allowed us to come up with 443000 plus. The school district is paying for half the cost, a hearty $440,000. They say the money is available in their general fund and won't take away from any other school programs. I think that we should have police officers at the school as well as on-campus officers. I think it's a great idea to keep all of our kids safe. Little extra in taxes to, to, for the security of our children, every bit worth it. And at this point, no one is talking about raising taxes, but that $880,000 is only going to fund those new officers through the end of September. Now, the county and school says they could work it into next year's budget, but they're also hoping they get some help from the state. Live in Brooksville, I'm Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.